What's up everybody, Will Reynolds here. Uh, this is an introduction to how to use Power BI for digital marketers. Today, we're gonna do a few things. One, I've believed for ages that the best way to get teams to work together is to use their data combine them into one place and that forces conversations to happen and it oftentimes shows insights in ways that you might not typically see. So that's what we're gonna start with today. My tool of choice is Power BI. Uh, it's PC based, I've got a PC. Um, it's also free, two good things. There are some limitations to it. For instance, it doesn't do things like many to many joins. You would have to use like a Tableau for that. And I think that that's okay. You can also do this same kind of analysis in Looker or Click or whatever other tool that you're using. This just so happens to be my favorite. The things we're gonna be also going over today primarily is how to create a relationship between your paid data and your organic data. We're gonna go through some problems that are gonna occur when you're doing this inside of Power BI. Then I'll show you how to work around those problems with a cheat, a second best solution, and then I'll leave you with the ideal solution. So let's rock. So now you've got Power BI open. What you wanna do, get some data in there. For this data set, I'm using CSVs. Um, I'm bringing in my PPC data. Usually I bring in search query reports. Here we go. That's loaded in. Then my next data set I'm gonna get is my organic ranking data. There it is. And now I've got my organic data and my paid data in one place. So you may wanna do something like, hey, which keywords am I targeting? out of an organic uh, that have a certain ranking, how many clicks am I getting on those out of my paid data? And really quickly you realize, uh, this doesn't look right, there's a problem here. And there is. It's because we haven't created a relationship between our paid data and our organic data. So let's go ahead and get rid of this. And let's go over here to manage relationships. So then I say, all right, we'll match my paid data keyword with my organic data's keyword. And you're going to get this error message if you're in Power BI. So it can't do a relationship. Basically, it's telling you it's not going to do what's called a many to many join. So don't give up. You cancel, you close. You go to edit queries. Here's the first cheat. First cheat. What you do is if you think about SEO data, if I rank number one and number 50, I really only care in most instances that I rank number one. So what you do is you go into position. I would then recommend that you sort by position ascending. So now all my number ones are first, then all my twos and threes. Then what you do, what you wanna do is you want to uh, remove the rows that are duplicated. So now that I've sorted by position, I can now look at my keyword column and say, I wanna remove duplicates. So now what I've done is I've removed any keyword that has a duplicate, which should make the data easier to combine. So once I close and apply, now I can go back to manage relationships. I go to new. I say, hey, take my paid data keyword and my organic keyword. You can see they're matched up. I like to do my filter direction as both. Now that I click OK and close, I can take my paid data. So let's say I take a keyword on paid and how much I'm paying per click on average, let's just say. And now I wanna take that same keyword where it matches in organic and look at how much SEMrush estimated the CPC. So now if I sort by keyword, you can see where we've gotten matches and what the average CPC is compared to SEMrush. I can also then say, well, what about my conversions or my cost? And I can take my cost and now I can put it in here as well. So now I'm, my data is matched. That is one way you can do this. But you've gotta be careful of removing duplicates because if you're removing duplicates from paid, you might actually be removing um, values that you wish you could add or sum up. So let me show you how to do that. Let's go back to get data. I wanna get my CSV and I wanna bring in my paid data Got it. And I also want to bring in my SEO data. 
got that. Now in the cheat, I showed you earlier how to just manage the, how, how to remove duplicates. And by removing those duplicates, you were able to combine your data sets. Here's a slightly longer way, but a more, uh, a less of a cheat or a hack. So what you do is you go into edit queries. And what you do is let's say, what's well, got fewer columns here, let's take PPC. I might say, um, I wanna use the group by function. So anytime I've got a keyword in here multiple times, I wanna group those things together. So my initial group by, so I'm gonna click on advanced, my initial group is keyword. So I'm gonna group off of keyword. So now I'm gonna say impressions two is what I'm gonna name it. And what I wanna do is I wanna sum up all of my impressions. Then I wanna add another one, clicks two. And I wanna sum up my clicks as well. Now things like click-through rate and average CPC, I typically don't uh, aggregate those because you're averaging averages or averaging percentages, which is a freaking nightmare. So I'm only gonna do the absolute figures here, like cost two, and sum up my cost. Now keep in mind, if I wanted to do this for SEO and I wanted to only bring in like my, my lowest ranking, I could use min for my keyword so that it wouldn't bring in or add up or sum my keyword ranking. Because you don't want your keyword to be added up multiple times, you just want to know what the lowest ranking you have is. So once I click OK, now I've got the keyword, I've aggregated all of these uh, data sources. So when I click close and apply, I can now go back into manage relationships. And now I can create a relationship between my paid data, which has been grouped by, and SEM Rush. So now I haven't, uh, compared to my first video, uh, now I haven't had to remove duplicates out of uh, SEM Rush or my organic ranking data. Now my PPC keyword and my SEM Rush keyword are matched. I'm going to make it both sides and I'm done. So now again, if I wanted to look at a keyword and how much I spent and then compare that and, and, and see where I rank for that keyword, don't worry about this. Um, here you go. One little thing I'll just mention while I got you here is uh, for keywords, you don't want to sum them. You typically want the minimum, okay? Um, and now you can see, hey, here's a keyword where I spent X number of dollars and paid, and here is my um, highest ranking for that keyword or lowest ranking, which is ideal. And now I'll also show you uh, how to make all that go away by just pulling your data right the first time. So you can't see it up here. I'm gonna go up to my reporting tab in AdWords, and I'm gonna create a report. I'm gonna make it a table. And what often happens is you get duplicated data inside of your paid data because a keyword might exist in multiple ad groups. You might be bringing in um, match type or, or, or keyword. So when you go to bring in the search term, if you have that as an exact match in one place and a phrase match in another, which would make sense for paid, you're gonna duplicate your data which makes it harder to have to dedupe it, which I just showed you in the other two videos, which isn't too hard, but what I prefer to do is not even have to worry about that. So what I do is I say, bring in my search query, and then I'll say, only bring in a few things that I care about. Bring in cost. I also don't bring in any of the average, uh, any of the average data points. I just calculate them myself using calculated columns in Power BI. I might want to bring in clicks. I might want to bring in impressions and conversions. So assuming that I had data here, I would then just click on the download link. I would download it as a CSV. And now what you know is you have no duplicated uh, search terms in your paid data which makes it a lot easier for you to rock and roll with. So let's review. Today I showed you how to take your paid and organic data, bring it into a tool like Power BI, and how to combine them. At first I showed you some of the problems you're gonna run into in Power BI when you try to combine those two files. The first one I showed you is a quick and dirty cheat on how to get around it really fast by removing duplicates in your organic data so you can match them. 
Then I showed you how to use the group by function when you're bringing data together so that you don't have to run into just eliminating data that you wish you still had or that you might want to use later. And lastly, I showed you what I consider to be the best way to do it, which is go right into AdWords, pull down uh, the, the keywords in the way that I instructed or the search terms in the way that I instructed, and that will make sure that you have no duplicates in your paid search data so you can just create visuals all day long. And that's what we're going to get into in future presentations, but I got to start you with the basics on how to bring all the data together so then I can show you how to create some amazing visuals that will create breakthroughs in your organizations and for your clients. Thank you so much. Let's get rocking on this.